what they're dealing with on a clear day in the middle of the afternoon in Miami. It's not rainwater, it's seawater. I'm here across the street from this luxury condominium building. And we're looking at a huge amount of seawater in the street. What you're seeing here is the sea level rise. I talked to the doorman at the hotel at this apartment building across the street. He says it happens twice a day, basically in keeping with high tide. He told me that six families have moved out of the apartment building because they were tired of dealing with this water in front of their luxury uh, condominium building. Today's unusual because the tide is up in the street and it's not even high tide right now. But you can see it's coming right from there. That's the storm grate, the storm sewer, and the water is actually coming out of the storm sewer. It's coming from the bay. You can look through the building there to the other side and you can see the bay is right there. This is what Miami Beach is like. It's a barrier island. And this is what you get when the ocean comes up eight inches in the last 60 years. The city said today that they're spending 400 to 600 million dollars to put in a pumping system to try and get rid of this water. Unfortunately, that's just the beginning because the sea level forecasts for Miami are anywhere from three to six feet in the next 85 years. Unless we do something about climate change. 